Liverpool is going to Paris. The Reds are headed to their third Champions League final in the past five years following a 5-2 aggregate win over Villarreal. Uh, I was not the only Red who was stressed out at halftime after Villarreal scored two goals in the first half and effectively set this tie back to a nil-nil scoreline. 2-2 on aggregate. Whatever Jurgen Klopp said in the halftime team talk clearly worked. It was one of the most important team talks Klopp had to deliver in his entire Liverpool career, and to use the classic cliche, it was a tale of two halves. Liverpool did not get off the bus on the first half. Andrew Robertson uh, and Trent Alexander-Arnold were badly caught out uh, for each of Villarreal's first half goals, but ultimately the hero of today for me was Luis Diaz. He transformed this side with his play in the second half. He gave the supporters a lot of breathing room with his wonderful goal to put Liverpool up 4-2 on aggregate. And the man who put Liverpool ahead, uh, back in front, out on aggregate, was the man who deserves his first Liverpool song more than any other, uh, Fabinho. The Brazilian Dyson vacuums everything up. Little did you know he can actually shoot too. Actually, I think most Liverpool supporters know at this point that he is more than capable of scoring, and that was a massive goal uh, for the Reds, not to mention Sadio Mane waiting as long as possible after burning uh, Villarreal's keeper to score the uh, fifth goal of the knockout tie. Just a comprehensive second-half performance. Of course, Liverpool is going to have a fuse lit once uh, Jordan Henderson was subbed on to the captain is an incredible player. He is a Liverpool legend, but I'm not sure that Henderson is going to start the Champions League final because Fabinho, Thiago Alcantara, their places are nailed down. And, you know, Nabi Keita offers more creative spark than Henderson. However, Keita, of course, does not provide Henderson's leadership, uh, tackling ability. So it's going to be a tough decision for Klopp in the Champions League final to pick between the likes of uh, Keita and Hendo, two very different players. And it's also going to be tough for Klopp to pick between Diogo Jota uh, and Luis Diaz for, you know, the final of the three spots, you know, up top leading the line. I would imagine that Sadio Mane and Mo Salah have their places nailed down. But if we're going on form, it has to be Luis Diaz. You know, there are too many games where uh, Jota goes missing if he doesn't score. And, uh, you know, don't get me wrong, he's still a phenomenal player has a huge future at Liverpool, absolutely love Diogo Jota, but Luis Diaz is a transformational signing. He is so impactful that his signing could change the course of Liverpool's history. That is not an exaggeration. Time will tell if he has that kind of impact, but man, I am so impressed by Diaz. The lad showed great resolve to not get rattled because that was an incredible Villarreal uh, support you know, set of supporters. That that crowd was was massive. It was bouncing, especially in the first half. So credit to the Villarreal supporters, credit to the Villarreal players who took it to Liverpool. Uh, the ones, of course, who were not diving and crying all over the place as we see all too often from uh, La Liga sides. But like I said, Villarreal, great club, huge credit to them uh, for the Yellow Submarine for reaching the Champions League semifinals for the first time. And uh, I think I'm not the only Liverpool supporter who is rooting for Real Madrid to reach the Champions League final. I don't know how many of us have the heart to take a final between Liverpool and the oh-so-despised plastic frauds. It's so important that Man City never, ever wins the Champions League. Liverpool will be playing for it for the seventh time on May 28th. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you've watched for this long, you might as well subscribe to my channel.